a fourth grader with Davidson and an eighth grader at Herb. The Cuban Missile Crisis is a pretty complicated subject, but it all starts back when the U.S. put missiles in Turkey. Now, this isn't the official start of the Cuban Missile Crisis, but the Soviet Union feels very threatened by this uh, placing of missiles in Turkey. So, in retaliation, it uh, signed some agreements and negotiations with Cuba, another communist nation, Castro and Khrushchev agreed in person, and uh, thus, some missiles were being shipped to Turkey. But, the U I mean, some missiles were being shipped to Cuba, not Turkey. Now, the thing was, the U.S. saw this as a threat. If these missiles reach Cuba, they could reach New York or D.C. in just 10 minutes. So, what was the U.S. to do? Well, the U.S. decided that it had to get something ready. And the U.S. was freaking out, understandably. And so, it thought of six plans. XCOM thought of six plans to stop the Russians from doing this kind of shenanigans. Now, number one was do nothing. The U.S. has been under threat of the USSR's missiles for years, and it hasn't been hit, so why care nowadays? Which was obviously a bad option, so that was put to the side. Number two, diplomatic relationships can force the USSR to squeeze out the missiles. However, that well, the XCOM thought that diplomatic relationships were too low, and thus that wasn't going to work either. Then you had three, four, five, and six would almost certainly lead to war. And it almost did. So, number three was uh, give Cuba an armistice. Split with the Russians or get invaded by us. Uh, and that was the third choice, which would almost certainly start a war. Fourth choice was uh, put an airstrike over where the missiles were being stored. Fifth choice, just full on invade Cuba without any warning. And sixth of all, um, blockade all the Russian ships that are bringing all of this crap. So, the thing was, uh, they were stuck between these two choices, airstrike or blockade. And they decided to go with blockade. So, they, uh, Joseph F. Kennedy officially announced on 7 a.m. October 22, they were going to blockade uh, any Russian ships that were trying to get to Cuba and load everything with missiles. Why? Well, uh, earlier on September 11, 1962, a very suspicious state, maybe the Soviet planned it. Just kidding, just kidding. The Soviets uh, collapsed 10 years before that even happened. But anyway, on September 11, 1962, the Soviets said, uh, yeah, we don't have any missiles in Cuba. And we have no intention to plant missiles in Cuba. But just a few weeks earlier, on August 30, the U.S. had searched the island and filmed confirmation uh, with spy U-2 planes. So the Soviet Union's tricks weren't going to work, and boom. There goes the Cuban Missile Crisis, 10-16. Now the thing is, we go through the decision making and they decide to make a blockade. So they blockade the Russian uh, ship. And then the thing is, the Soviets see this is bad. How can they blockade our ships? But nonetheless, he turned around all the missile carrying ships, but let all the food and fuel and things like that uh, pass through. Because Joseph F. Kennedy said in his address that he would still let the basic necessities of life be transported, unlike the Soviet Union let happen during the Berlin airlift. So, the thing was, this was getting really tense, and Khrushchev didn't want war. So, the thing was, Khrushchev was negotiating, but Cuba didn't like that, because Cuba thought the U.S. was going to invade any second. So Cuba asked the USSR for a preemptive strike, with Castro in particular. But the thing was, and they didn't want that to happen because the U.S. had missiles in Turkey and southern Italy, which could reach Moscow in a matter of minutes. So the Soviets certainly didn't want that. 
if the U.S. had no missiles, then go for it. But the U.S. had missiles, so they couldn't do it. But anyway, mutually assured destruction was very, uh, very close. But uh, to uh, make it less tense, the thing was some ab ambassadors uh, came to the U.S. and said, okay, the Soviets are offering a deal. You take out your nearly obsolete missiles out of uh, Italy and Turkey, and they take out their missiles uh, of Cuba. And th th then th they agreed to that private statement. And thus, in the span of 13 days, were some of the most dangerous days to humanity. 13 days after it all started, I think it was October 28, 10 slash 28, the crisis is over! Subscribe to Bari Science Lab to fall in love with math and science, especially programming.